Hey guys, Andre Freeman here. So I'm going to show you how you can use Desmos to compute single variable statistics on a data set. This is a, an extremely important function and Desmos does a really nice job with, with this. So here's an example. We have a data set containing the ages of 12 children and the data values are listed here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to copy the values in this list. So control C, you can also copy using the, the other copy functions. So Desmos is a website that allows us to do a lot of calculations for, for statistics. Um, so click start graphing. I'm gonna do a couple of things here to kind of get this set up. I'm going to first click on this wrench and go to projector mode. I'm gonna also get rid of the grid. So this looks a little bit cleaner. And then I'm gonna move this over so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So you have the graphing window here, and then you have the command lines over here. So I'm gonna first paste in control V. I pasted in those numbers that I copied from the Word document. And I'm gonna put square brackets around this list. See what that does automatically is, I'm just, I, you can kind of click from one cell to the next in Desmos. That automatically creates a list of 12 items. I'm gonna name this list. So I'm gonna click at the beginning of it and say capital A equals. So what I'm doing is I'm naming um, list A. So this is a 12 element list. So now we can proceed to solve the problems that are in the, on the page. It says, let's create a dot plot and find the mean, standard deviation, median, five number summary, and the interquartile range. So we can do all, the, all of this in Desmos very quickly. First of all, let's go back to Desmos. In the dot, to do the dot plot, I'll type in dot plot just like that, open parentheses A. So I'm, I'm basically telling Desmos to create a dot plot of the data in list A. This zoom fit magnifying glass is really important because if you click on this, that then allows us to see a nice image of this dot plot. So we can see that most of the values in the data set are between five, six, seven, eight, nine, but then we have a couple of values, the two 12s out here. So let's proceed to find the other, other values. So I'm gonna, to find the mean, I simply do mean of data set A. So the mean of this data set is 7.92, rounded. To find the standard deviation, um, which is a measure of the variability, I'll do STDEV, and then A. I'm, I'm entering the list A into this command. The standard deviation is 2.23. I can also find the median, M-E-D-I-N, parentheses A. So the median of this list is A. And let's do some, several other things. Let's do the five number summary. So the five number summary, we'll first find the min. So min of A, so the minimum value in the data set is five. Um, I'll find the first quartile. To find the quartiles, you do quartile. And then you enter in the list. And then you enter in the, the, the quartile that you wanna find. So, oops, I wanna find the first quartile. So I'll do A comma one. So this is basically saying that the first quartile of list A of the data set in this list, the first quartile is six. Um, to find the second quartile, we can do either the median or we can do quartile A comma two. Either way, it's the same thing. The second quartile is the same as the median. It's the position which separates the data set into two halves. So A comma two. So the median or the second quartile is eight. To find the third quartile, I'll do Q-A-R-T-I-L-E, A comma three. The third quartile is 8.5. And lastly, the max, I'll do max of data set A. So you see these commands, min, quartile, 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 max, allow us to find the five number summary. Um, we can do a, we can look at this real quickly if I change the dot plot to a box plot, I'm gonna replace DOT with BOX. That's creating, a, and I'm gonna click on the zoom fit. So this, actually I liked it better the first time. This is showing a box plot. You see how I can move the screen around. If you click on it, you can move this around. So, so the min is five, let's kind of connect these. The minimum value is five, the first quartile is six, the median is eight, the third quartile is 8.5, and the maximum is 12. So this is showing really the 
summary of the five number summary, the visualization of the five number summary. The last thing that I want to show you guys in this video is the interquartile range. The interquartile range is the third quartile minus the first quartile. So in this case, it would be 8.5 minus 6. And we're getting 2.5. So that will be the interquartile range, which is the width of the box. This The middle 50% goes from 6 to 8.5. So the middle 50% has a width of 2.5. All right, guys. I hope this is helpful. Desmos is really a great tool for computing single variable statistics.